Namaste friends, my name is Amit Garg. Welcome to my channel, Vedic Astro Amit. Thanks for being here. Today we'll discuss a very important topic. Uh, Jupiter, Guru Maharaj, will be transiting through Nakshatra of Rohini. A very, very important transit. Uh, this will bring massive shift for all of us. We'll discuss all the 12 rising signs uh, and I call it ethical prosperity. So this is taking place after 12 years. Guru Maharaj uh, visits uh, each nakshatra after 12 years. So, But this is a big shift for, especially for finances, abundance, and growth. First of all, a big thank you to our new members who joined the YouTube uh, membership, uh, especially the Diamond members. We have uh, John Riley and 1210TGHO. That's the screen name. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, consider becoming a member. We have three tiers. The diamond tier actually gives you an opportunity to ask one question uh, per month. Uh, plus, you get discounts on readings, uh, consultations, and also you get exclusive videos uh, every week uh, for the transits uh, for, sil uh, for the gold and diamond members. Uh, so that's a good opportunity to stay in touch and get more uh, insights into the uh, transits. So Jupiter in Rohini. We hear, you know, Rohini is the sign of abundance and growth and financial prosperity, all of that. So Jupiter in Rohini, I'm sorry, Jupiter in Taurus uh, means all good things. Uh, but Taurus is not just one uh, consistent, uh, you know, sign of 30 degrees. Seven degrees of Taurus is different from 17 degrees of Taurus, very different from 27 degrees of Taurus. So you have to look at the nakshatra. Uh, the first nakshatra in Taurus is Kritika, then we have Rohini, and then we have Mrigashira. So the energy of Kritika is very different from energy of Rohini, very different from energy of Mrigashira. So all this talk of financial abundance, financial prosperity with Jupiter in Taurus will not um, happen until Jupiter goes to Rohini. Rohini is the heart of Taurus. All the good things, the prosperity, abundance, uh, we, we associate Taurus with that is mainly with Rohini. Okay, uh, so uh, so let's discuss Rohini first. Rohini is the fourth nakshatra. It's ruled by Brahma or Prajapati. So right there, there is the theme of creativity. Brahma is the creator, creator of the universe. So Rohini is the nakshatra of creativity besides Bharani, in fact, but Bharani has a very different energy. It's not about abundance and growth, all of that. Uh, Bharani is life and death. Whereas Rohini is abundance and growth and good things in life, enjoyment, pleasure. And so number one theme with Rohini is creativity. You can, it gives birth, literally gives birth to a lot of things, depends which planet is going and which house and which sign, uh, which um, uh, Lagna we're talking about. Okay, so secondly, uh, Bharani is uh, uh, linked with all forms of art, music, dance, um, all the skills. Bharani is, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Rohini is connected with fertility and prosperity. And it is connected with the earth, agriculture, food, farming, uh, nourishment. Uh, so all this is a very nourish, uh, nurturing uh, nakshatra, very caring, uh, protective and nurturing nakshatra. Uh, and there is also a theme of beauty and uh, there's an element of jealousy also. We'll talk about the mythology, why that's the case. Uh, but overall, Rohini is a very gentle, uh, sweet, beautiful, uh, nourishing uh, uh, nakshatra uh, that gives us abundance, gives us a lot of creative energy, growth, expansion, um, and especially connected with the food that we eat, our nourishment, uh, literally agriculture, farming, all of that. So that's Rohini uh, in a nutshell. And the symbol is one of the symbols is, is an ox pulling a a cart. So there is a theme of food and agriculture and growth uh, and abundance. Okay, so it's a very auspicious, benevolent nakshatra. Now see which planet we're talking about, which graha, right? So it's Jupiter, Guru Maharaj. Jupiter is expansion. Jupiter is growth in all areas of our life, not just growth in money. Uh, Jupiter also is one of the karaka for uh, giving children. So growth in, in every respect, growth as in our lineage, 
a growth of money, growth of wisdom. So Jupiter is the guru. So it, it's a sattvic planet, growth of dharmic activities. Uh, you can become a teacher. Uh, Jupiter makes you a teacher, a coach, a consultant, uh, literally a guru. You can be a guru if you have blessings of the Jupiter. Um, or you have good gurus in your life. You have good advice, good uh, wisdom. Um, if let's say you have Jupiter sitting in your first house, you have blessings of the gurus all your life. So Jupiter is wisdom. Jupiter is uh, that uh, intellect, you know, that the knowledge that has been digested into wisdom that we can use in life. And Jupiter is a, all about sharing, sharing wisdom. Jupiter loves to teach in big groups, not just in one-on-one -on -one consultations or one-on-one -on -one private classes. Jupiter is sharing wisdom freely. Um, and so that's all Jupiter. So now if you combine Rohini and Jupiter, uh, see, whenever a planet is visiting a nakshatra, it gets the color of that nakshatra. Nakshatra is the environment. It's, it's the surroundings. So it's the uh, resources available for the planet to express its qualities. So we have uh, this Jupiter guru visiting nakshatra Rohini, uh, the favorite nakshatra, nakshatra of, of the moon. And so the overall themes of this transit are going to be uh, economic growth, financial growth, uh, financial abundance. Uh, there could be agricultural advancements, uh, cultural prosperity. So, so people will become more creative and um, you know, resourceful and also interested in learning about culture and dharma and higher wisdom. Um, and most importantly, there'll be a very balanced progress. So there'll be a spiritual progress as well as uh, material abundance. Rohini is all about uh, material prosperity. Jupiter is all about spiritual progress. So combine those things, there'll be expansion of both. Okay, so so we'll see not, it's, and we need both in life. We need spiritual progress and we need uh, money. We need material abundance, resources, all sorts of abundance, dhana um, dhanya, right? So money and grains and all of that. So this is the perfect ideal time. So that's why this is super exciting. Um, these two months are going to bring uh, prosperity, which is ethical. That's the most important thing to understand is that because you know, we may have like uh, abundance when we had the dot-com bubble or uh, the housing crash, you know, people are making money out of nothing, but this is going to be a very uh, ethical, a very genuine prosperity, which will lead to abundance and growth and, and also nourishment, nourishment in all areas of life uh, and literally agriculture, farming um, and good food. And enjoy. Enjoyment is good, uh, but if done in the right way, with the right uh, attitude, right intention. So that's that's going to be uh, the energy here for Jupiter in Rohini. Now, let's discuss. Uh, there, there's also be uh, going to be some uh, possible issues, which is uh, there is a possibility of overindulgence because Jupiter is expansion and Rohini, as we'll discuss the mythology also. Uh, you know, it could lead to. Uh, a lot of sensual pleasures. So, so that's that's something we need to keep an eye on. Uh, there may be possibility of uh, stubbornness, or in our belief system, we may become rigid. Okay, so Taurus is the Earth sign. So be cautious as to be inclusive in your uh, in your spiritual beliefs. Uh, be very, uh, you know, Jupiter could also, especially. Jupiter rules Sagittarius, and that could uh, lead to like my way or highway kind of uh, attitude. Jupiter can give us that if we become, you know, far extreme, uh, rigid, uh, left wing or right wing. And so uh, be careful not to have very rigid belief system. Uh, be flexible. Do not be very stubborn uh, in, your in your religious beliefs, but also in general. Uh, do not be stubborn. So that's, that's a possibility with Jupiter in Rohini. Now, there could also be an element of jealousy. Now that's that's because, see the nakshatras, 27 nakshatras, these are the lunar constellations. These are in, in mythology, uh, these are the 27 wives of uh, Chandra, the moon. And moon was supposed to stay with each of the nakshatra for, 20, uh, for, for one day approximately. So that's why moon has the cycle of 27 to 28 days. Uh, it goes around the zodiac in 27, 28 days. Uh, so Moon was supposed to stay with each of his wife for one day, but he did not. He had his favorite wife or favorite nakshatra was Rohini. 
right? So Rohini was the favorite nakshatra, very beautiful. Um, and so Moon started spending all the time with Rohini, ignored all the other nakshatras. Uh, and there's a lot more to the story, but especially for this video, for this discussion, important thing to consider is that because Moon started spending all his time with Rohini, ignoring the rest of the 26 wives, so they developed a lot of jealousy. They were really, really upset, and that had consequences. So big recommendation is, uh, from your side, do not have any jealousy. Uh, you know, be rejoice when other people are uh, getting success. Feel happy because universe has a lot. Uni universe has unlimited potential and abundance. It's not a, a zero sum game. We're not having a, a limited amount of resources that need to be distributed among the eight billion people. We have, uh, you know, there is parallel universes. If you if you keep going, uh, you know, th there is no limit as to how much we can enjoy. Uh, but if done in ethical manner, then then the, there is no limit to abundance. So do not have jealousy. And and, and also, especially in terms of uh, uh, beauty also, like do, do not be jealous of other people's, you know, good fortunes or good looks, things like that. So that's one big caution for this transit. And again, the second thing is overindulgence because Moon was uh, just indulging uh, in Rohini. And so be careful, do not, have uh, this uh, if you if you are attracted towards something uh, you know think stop and think is this the correct path uh, are you spending too much time focusing too much energy into one thing that's uh, first of all is that holistic is that ethical is that uh, a good thing to spend your money resources and effort and energy on um, you'll get the answer so those are the two big cautions so now we'll be uh, we'll begin one um, each of the twelve signs. If you haven't already, I uh, really request uh, to please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sharing really helps, and uh, hit the bell icon so you get the notifications. And leave a comment. Please uh, tell me what's going on, uh, what your experience is. Uh, you know where the planets are in your chart. So we have discussion, healthy discussion. Uh, I read every single comment. I may not be able to respond to. I, I do respond. Uh, if it's you know interesting uh, comment that uh, uh, that is useful for everybody, uh, but uh, please have a, a good healthy discussion, uh, and also again uh, consider uh, becoming a member, YouTube member, so you get more exclusive videos and discounts in readings. First of all, uh, the sign of Aries. Aries rising. Aries lagna. Aries ascendant. For Aries, as you can see here. Uh, so we're talking about Jupiter's transit in Rohini, okay? Uh, so Jupiter is in your second house, and uh, that's the sign of Taurus, and Jupiter is the ruler of your ninth house and your twelfth house, okay? So as you can see here, Jupiter is in uh, Rohini, Nakshatra, and that'll be from uh, June 13th through August 12th. So... Uh, so the second house is completely activated. And uh, this is happening after 12 years. Uh, Rohini is the mo most important nakshatra for abundance. Uh, besides Pushya, Rohini is, you know, uh, is all about financial wealth and wisdom um, and abundance. Aries is one of the, you know, those signs, a few signs which have... Um, big, you know, this uh, this transit will bring a lot of financial abundance, literally financial abundance, because Jupiter, this is happening in your second house. Second house is family wealth, aggregate um, resources, accumulated resources. So this will bring a lot of opportunity, a lot of projects, and a lot of uh, real financial wealth and abundance. It, this will at least set the projects in motion. Uh, your second house, which, which rules our family wealth, is completely activated. Uh, now, so that is what's happening with Jupiter being there. So Jupiter will bring expansion to your family wealth. Okay. Uh, now, Jupiter is uh, will bring that energy uh, to the houses that it rules as well, to the ninth house and the twelfth house. This is also a really good time to do something related to the food 
uh, that you eat, you may uh, develop more sattvic diet. But also, if you have any opportunity to get into agriculture, farming, uh, do something with nourishment and and the food supply, food chain, all of that. Now, the other thing is, uh, be very creative in your speech because Rohini is all about creativity. It's ruled by Prajapati. And so Jupiter is the guru and expansion. So you are, you know, th this is the time to rise and shine and be a speaker. Uh, bring your ideas out. Uh, absolutely fantastic potential to, do, to be very creative in your speech and you'll reach the masses, you'll reach a lot of people. Um, and that speech will come from a deep, you know, very wise place, that's the ninth Lord. Um, and it'll come from your subconscious mind, that's the 12th Lord. Uh, so your speech is completely activated. Uh, the other thing is practice Vasudev Kutumbakam. This is the time to practice Vasudev Kutumbakam, which means the whole universe is my family. Uh, this is the house of family, extended family. Jupiter is the guru, the wise one, uh, going in the nakshatra of Rohini, which is all about creativity, abundance, and sharing. And so, uh, excellent time for all of those things. Now, this will also color uh, your ninth house and twelfth house matters. Jupiter is the lord, and it is in Rohini. So, number one thing about Rohini is creativity. So, good time to be creative in your ninth house matters, meaning, uh, you know, teach something unique, uh, share your uh, skills with the world, be a consultant, be a guru, a uh, lot of pil pilgrimage, perfect time to take a, a pilgrimage. Uh, this could be like exploring the earth, the mother earth, uh, something related to, of course, related to spiritual uh, travel, but also uh, agriculture and food supply and food chain, all of that. Uh, that's Rohini. Um, and then also, uh, spend time with the gurus, also uh, traveling abroad, visiting other countries, um, and be very, um, you know, one thing is keep in mind is uh, do not be jealous at all in terms of wisdom or gurus, any of those areas. That's one big caution. Um, and then second thing is uh, do not be extravagant in your uh, expenses. Uh, do not spend money where it's not needed. Uh, you can give donations. That is 12th house. That is great. Uh, but do not uh, do not spend you know do not over indulge or uh, excessive spending or um, just uh, you know buying things that are not needed and also you can be very creative in your investments uh, that is the 12th house 12th house is our investments and um, 12th lord in rohini which is all about creativity uh, but you want to grow your investments as well so in a way uh, see, to, to counter this expansive energy of Jupiter, uh, uh, the 12th Lord, is instead of uh, having to go through expenses, you can voluntarily sort of part with that money and, and put that as investment. So grow your investments. Be creative in investments, could be in foreign country as well, uh, or in investments related to some spiritual work. Uh, investments along with your gurus or also invest in your higher studies uh, be creative in your seventh uh, ninth house matters what subjects you study uh, maybe like some you know creative art uh, because rohini is all uh, about art and uh, music and and good things so this could be a, a time you want to do higher studies in those subjects literally those subjects um, higher studies and anything to do with art and music all of that uh, projects from foreign countries, you know, buying art from foreign countries or doing some business uh, related to those areas will be very beneficial. Um, now, remember, these. this is a powerful time, two months window, uh, which uh, comes uh, doesn't come after, you know, every year, uh, after 12 years. And now, uh, also, because of retrograde motion of Jupiter, there will be another opportunity uh, later this year in October when Jupiter will go back uh, to Rohini for a brief period of time. Uh, but this is a, a really good chance for you to set up some investments, uh, travel abroad, travel, you know, long distance travel pilgrimage for your higher studies uh, and enjoy the world, travel, uh, something related to food industry uh, or things like that. So that's uh, for the sign of Aries. If you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell icon. It's very important uh, for us. Uh, and also consider joining the YouTube membership.
So that was uh, for the sign of Cancer. Uh, I'm sorry, Aries. Aries rising, Aries lagna, Aries ascendant. Next, we'll talk about uh, the rising sign of Taurus. Uh, very important, obviously. Uh, Taurus rising, Taurus lagna, Taurus ascendant. And for Taurus, uh, we'll see that this transit is happening in your lagna. Uh, let me share the screen. Let's uh, look at the chart. Uh, before that, if, uh, consider becoming a member, a YouTube member where you get exclusive videos. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So this is what's happening uh, for Taurus rising, Taurus lagna, Taurus ascendant. Uh, now, as you can see, Jupiter is transiting through your lagna. And Jupiter is the ruler of your 8th house and ruler of your 11th house. And you can see here Jupiter is in Nakshatra of Rohini from June uh, 13th through August uh, 20th. Uh, so this is this is absolutely a powerful time, very, very interesting time for you. Um, let me... First of all, Jupiter is the ruler of your 11th house. That means that's one of the money houses. Uh, 11th house is uh, gains, financial gains. And so directly this means uh, 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 Taurus rising is one of the signs, one of the 12 signs, which uh, stands to gain a lot directly in terms of financial abundance, not, not just in other areas of life, but in terms of money and finances will definitely improve a lot. Uh, because 11th house ruler is going in the nakshatra prohini, which means abundance and growth and creativity. And you can also be very creative in your finances, creative ways of making money, uh, different sources of income. And uh, now the biggest influence on you is you. That means your own personality. Be very creative in discovering yourself. Expand yourself, expand your horizon. Uh, this is also another sign which uh, can, you know, literally follow this mantra, Vasudev Kutumbakam, because that means uh, the whole universe is my family, because, uh, you know, Rohini is, is all about agriculture and Mother Earth, and Jupiter is abundance and, and growth and wisdom, and this is taking place in your first house. So you are connected with the universe. You are a part of the universe. You are the universe. So that literally is very important for you. The more this kind of feeling you have, inclusive feeling where everybody is a family, uh, because Rohini may tend to give you this uh, feeling of jealousy sometimes, right? So to overcome that for Taurus rising, especially extremely important for you not to get attached, not to have this um, overindulgence or jealousy um, or because of Rohini energy. And so good thing for you is... Um, be very uh, inclusive. Do not be rigid or stubborn. You know, that may be another possibility for Taurus rising is, in general, they could be stubborn, but with Jupiter here, that may uh, be enhanced. So not to be stubborn in your belief system, in, your, uh, in terms of sharing things with other people, uh, right? So that's the big lesson. But other than that, you will see huge transformation. Now, this is also eighth house ruler sitting in the first house. That's a classic combination that you will transform completely. This transit will absolutely transform you. Um, and this will bring growth and abundance in your personality, in your life, uh, because of Rohini. So Eighth Lord is all about change and transformation at a very deep level. Now, if that planet is happens to be Jupiter, all the more important, all the more beneficial and uh, blissful is that your change and transformation will be for good. It won't be like haphazard, oh, what's going on in my life? It, this will be a change and transformation so that you get uh, closer to the truth. And this is a good time to do research, um, Eighth House Lord. Uh, research and, and literally digging through the earth, finding the secrets of the earth, Mother Earth, uh, work in the food industry, uh, research about food, research about nourishment, ways of, uh, you know. This is also a time you can be very creative in uh, dealing with other people money, as in inheritance, uh, family wealth, uh, the money from uh, spouse. Uh, so all of that, or literally if you are, let's say a financial wealth manager uh, or managing other people's money in any form or, or manner, say a tax consultant or investment advisor or uh, any, any of those professions, uh, you can be very creative. And this, this period will bring a lot of 
abundance for you, financial abundance, literally. Um, and but but given that you know you treat uh, the whole world, everybody as your family, uh, that's very important. Because, so that I mean, not to have this element of jealousy at all crop up. Uh, the other thing is uh, you want to spend time with your friends, your friend circle. Bring your friends home. That's the eleventh lord in your uh, first house. So the the one good absolutely fantastic suggestion is invite your friends over and cook food for them you know invite them for dinner uh, because rohini is all about food and agriculture 11th lord is your friends and your 11th lord is sitting in your first house that is you right so they'll come to you bring them over or you know you, you can um, go out for dinners and stuff like that so that's really good this period will expand your friendships and those friendships will be very nourishing and uplifting and rewarding and expansive. Those will impact your life in a very deep manner. Those will sow the seeds. Rohini is agriculture. It sow the seeds uh, and, and those friendships will flourish for the rest of your life. Um, and then also think of doing good for other people. 11th house is the, the masses. Uh, 11th house is doing good for the humanity. So think of creative ways. Be very creative how you can help other people. Uh, this is also a good time. Um, uh, for your elder siblings uh, to get into any of these uh, arts, creativity, um, or agriculture, food industry, food supply, all of that, or doing things with your elder siblings in that respect. Um, and then eighth house is also sudden things, sudden changes. Uh, so there may be sudden shifts, but those shifts, you know, uh, keep in mind will be uh, for the highest good. You'll, you'll gain a lot uh, for, you know, from anything uh, happening during this transition. So that's what's happening uh, for the rising sign uh, of Taurus, for Taurus Lagna. This is absolutely fantastic period for you. Um, this will bring a lot of creativity, a lot of expansion, growth in your personality, in your finances, in your research, in your shared resources. That's the eighth house. Um, just uh, be very inclusive. Do not be stubborn uh, at all. That's, uh, you know, Taurus uh, could, could have this uh, tendency anyway, uh, uh, but uh, focus on good things. Uh, so if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and uh, consider becoming a member, YouTube member. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for your time and uh, support and resources. Next, we'll discuss the sign of Gemini. Gemini rising, Gemini lagna, Gemini ascendant. Uh, uh, if you haven't already watched the intro section, very important to understand why I, I say this is, uh, there's going to be ethical prosperity after 12 years. This is a big shift. Um, there's mythology, there's uh, remedies and things we discussed in the intro section. Also, if you haven't already, uh, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Uh, really uh, grateful for your support. And also consider joining uh, the YouTube uh, membership. There are three tiers and thank you so much for the uh, members who joined uh, recently, Diamond uh, members, uh, and then there's lots of perks. So, so let me share my screen. Uh, we'll see what's happening with the Gemini rising. So for Gemini, as you can see here, uh, let's see, I'll mark it up, what's going on. So we have uh, Jupiter transiting through your 12th house in the nakshatra of Rohini. That's what we are discussing. And for you, Jupiter is your, uh, obviously your seventh Lord and your 10th Lord. So what's happening is uh, Jupiter will be in nakshatra of Rohini after 12 years. Okay, so wherever Jupiter goes, um, that area expands, but Jupiter gets the color from the nakshatra. And so this is a very important time for you to make spiritual connections. Okay, uh, introspection, uh, compassion, and, and activate your subconscious mind, connect with the Mother Earth, um, and, and past life, regression, ancestors, um, and give a lot of charity. Uh, and uh, one caution is uh, there could be expenditures uh, because or through your partnerships. So it could be because of your spouse or uh, because of your uh, business partners. So that's one caution because uh, Jupiter is expansion sitting in the 12th house, especially sign, you know, Nakshatra of Rohini. And Jupiter is the seventh lord. So you got to be careful that you not overspend 
especially for showing off or because of some kind of jealousy with other people. So, so the good uh, antidote to that is, good remedy for that is uh, go on a pilgrimage, uh, just go uh, a trip abroad uh, for business, for work, which is you know also your 10th Lord sitting in the 12th Lord, 12th house. That means good time for making a foreign trip for your work, for your business, for profession. And that'll take care of you know possible expenses or losses because of part because of your partnerships um and this could also mean uh, careers in um, healing or spiritual fields or art dance music especially food related careers um and and but you will work uh, in the foreign lands like you'll have a lot of connection or business or projects from foreign countries um you'll do a lot of things behind the scenes uh, because Rohini is, is earth. It's, it's the connection with the earth, mother earth, agriculture, food. Um, and literally, you know, sort of, uh, you, you may take up a lot of behind the scenes roles. Uh, okay. Like being the support, being the wind beneath the wings uh, for other people. There'll be enhanced intuition, a lot of creativity, abundance of creativity. Because your 12th house, subconscious minds is, is getting activated. Uh, the, the Rohini nakshatra that is in your 12th house is getting activated by the transit of Jupiter, which is wise guru and expansion and 12th house is intuition. And so all of that is combined really powerful time to show empathy, to show compassion, uh, you know, do something uh, in isolation, like going on a retreat, uh, just doing lots of meditation, uh, even going to a foreign country for a pilgrimage, uh, visiting the temples and all. Uh, but working with your subconscious mind, uh, keep a check on your essential energy. Okay, so that's that's one um, caution is because twelfth house is also the bed pleasures and all the secret things. But but you could revive, you could bring out a lot of hidden talents, a lot of uh, your secret strengths. Uh, now, in your relationships, do not try to show off. Do not have jealousy. That's the seventh lord. Uh, but one good suggestion is you can make a trip abroad with your partner. That'll be ideal. We'll take care of a lot of things like expenses area of the 12th house. It'll take care of, you know, um, uh, activating the seventh house. And if, if that's for business, even better, that'll take care of all the three houses, seventh house, 10th house and 12th house. So uh, a really powerful time, uh, a deeply spiritual time for you. Uh, your 12th house is completely getting activated by Jupiter in this fantastic nakshatra of nourishment and expansion and growth and fertility and creativity that is Rohini. So, so that's for the sign of Gemini, uh, Gemini rising, Gemini lagna, Gemini ascendant. If you haven't watched the intro section, please do so. That's very important. Um, and hit the bell icon so you get the notifications. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, and share with your friends and consider uh, becoming a member, YouTube member, lots of perks you can check out on the website. Next is Cancer Rising, Cancer Lagna, Cancer Ascendant. We're talking about Jupiter's transit in Rohini that uh, takes place after 12 years, uh, except for some uh, you know retrograde motion where Jupiter comes back again for a few months, uh, but eventually then it'll go back, you know, go around the zodiac and come after uh, 12 years. So this is a ma massive monumental uh, transit for all signs, but for cancer, we'll see especially very, very powerful uh, directly for your financial abundance and other areas of life. We'll see. Uh, if you haven't already, please watch the intro section. Very important. We discussed the mythology. We discussed the, the remedies and key areas uh, that might be activated and why this is such a big deal. Um, and then also uh, like, share and subscribe uh, to our channel. And consider uh, becoming a YouTube member. Lots of uh, perks and benefits for becoming uh, members. And thank you for uh, the members who joined recently, especially the Diamond members. Uh, they joined, a uh, uh, few of them joined recently. So uh, let's begin with the sign of cancer. Let's see what's happening with the sign of cancer, uh, Lagna cancer, Lagna cancer ascendant. As you can see, Jupiter is transiting through your 11th house in the nakshatra of Rohini. Uh, which takes place after 12 years. And as I mentioned in the intro section also, you uh, please listen to the intro section as to why 
the financial abundance takes place only in Rohini, not in other nakshatras of Taurus or even any other zodiac except for uh, uh, Pushya. And then uh, sitting in the 11th house, Jupiter is your sixth lord and Jupiter is your ninth lord. Okay, so that's the transit. That's what's going on. Um, and so the sixth lord and the 11th, uh, ninth lord is transiting through your 11th house. And so first of all, what this will do is your 11th house is completely activated. Uh, full abundance, financial abundance. 11th house is financial gains first and foremost. So Jupiter is the planet of finances also in a way, uh, literally not finances, but it's the planet of abundance and growth and expansion. And now it is sitting in the nakshatra of Rohini, which is the nakshatra of growth, creativity, fertility. Uh, Prajapati is the deity. So absolutely fantastic time for you financially. Huge financial abundance coming your way. Um, and, and then you can be very creative in your finances. Rohini is the nakshatra of creativity. Um, literally, you could also gain from uh, arts, dance, music, or agriculture, food supply, any of that is, is fair game. Um, and then this period will also make your social contact network grow. Uh, you'll have a network with, you know, connection with people who are wise, who want to do uh, the good for the society. Uh, you'll expand your social network. Um, and uh, food could be a theme. Let's say you want to organize a lot of get-togethers and things, you know, uh, do it over dinner or just, uh, uh, you know, meet over dinner at your home or outside. Uh, but food or nourishment or uh, your overall well-being, uh, that could be the theme for get-togethers. Uh, okay. Uh, and then this is also your ninth lord sitting in the 11th house. So ninth house is all about higher wisdom. So discuss higher wisdom and higher subjects and things with your friends. Uh, those Anything you do will bring you financial gains. Uh, and uh, Rohini will color that. So basically, you can study, you know, higher studies for art, dance, music, or food, nourishment. Any of those subjects will be great or any spiritual work. Um, and then uh, spend time with the gurus. Um, you, you can be very creative in uh, in how to develop your belief system, how to gain wisdom, how to spend time with the gurus. Uh, but one caution is be very, very ethical, very ethical in your financial dealings. See, all of this uh, prosperity we are discussing in the sign of Taurus, Jupiter in Rohini, is it, this will bring ethical prosperity. I keep saying that. So if you have any unethical means of you know making money, that will wash away. Uh, be very ethical in your financial dealings. Be very ethical in your a relationship with the gurus, uh, in relationship with your the the wisdom itself, the vidya, the the knowledge, and then also sixth house matters. Um, be creative in your health routines. Be creative in helping other people. Volunteer services. Be creative in how you can overcome your inner weaknesses through food, possibly through agriculture, uh, through helping other through abundance, uh, or or even through beauty products. I mean, Rohini is all about beauty. So having uh, financial gains through beauty products, that's another way. Uh, sixth house of work, your profession is activated. So you'll be very creative at your work. Uh, okay, so those are uh, primary themes for cancer. So that is for the sign of cancer. Cancer rising, cancer lagna, cancer ascendant. And now the recommendation is be very ethical in your financial dealings. Be very ethical with your gurus. That Those are the big cautions, Mary. Uh, you know, suggestions. And, uh, but time, uh, this will bring literally financial abundance for you. Do, you are one of the 12 uh, signs, one of the few signs that will directly have uh, this financial abundance. But as I keep uh, saying, ethical prosperity is the key. Uh, be very creative in these areas, in your finances, in your sixth house matters, and in your ninth house matters. Take a pilgrimage, you know, go on a pilgrimage, long distance travels will bring you financial gains. That's ninth house, eleventh house combination. Uh, if you haven't already, please watch the intersection. We discussed all the important things. And also consider uh, becoming a member, YouTube member, where you get a lot of perks. And also, uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Next, we'll discuss the sign of Leo. Leo rising, Leo ascendant, Leo lagna. For Leo, uh, 
If you haven't already, um, highly encourage watch the intro section. We discuss the mythology, why this is such a big transit and it, it happens after 12 years. So there'll be financial abundance uh, depending on which areas of life also we'll see. Uh, but consider uh, becoming a YouTube member. Thank you. A big shout out to uh, the new members uh, uh, on our channel. So let's see what's happening for Leo. So for Leo, as you can see here, Jupiter will be in your 10th house transiting through the nakshatra of Rohini, uh, you can see here. And Jupiter is your um, fifth lord and Jupiter is your eighth lord. So fifth house is considered one of the houses of money, but 10th house is where all the action is taking place. So your 10th house is activated by Jupiter. And this is uh, the time when you'll be very creative at your work. Think of new ways of doing things. Think of being very creative. Same thing you could do, you know, package in a different way. So just being very creative. Um, you'll have a lot of expansion in your career. You'll have a promotion maybe, you know, or you could, uh, you might think of new ideas, new ways of expanding your business. Uh, you will get a lot of recognition. Uh, this will bring, uh, you know, positive changes in your uh, name and fame. This will bring name and fame. Um, and also, 10th uh, house uh, will give you opportunities to uh, overall, like long-term, expand your career. Now, you may also do things with your children. Uh, you may do work, new projects, or things related to your career with your children. Fifth Lord is sitting in the 10th house, and you can be very creative, do things together with your children. This could also be your uh, romantic partner you may do things together with your romantic partner, with your lover, uh, things related to your 10th house, which is creativity. Uh, and be careful. Uh, one caution is not to be jealous of other people's relationships. That's, you know, fifth house. Uh, and also be cautious when you're uh, dealing with your children, not to be, uh, you know, overindulgent, not to spend too much uh, with your children or not to spend too much uh, with your romantic partner. Uh, but see, your fifth house is creativity. Fifth Lord is sitting in Rohini Nakshatra. This is by far, so with, especially with respect to your children and with respect to your uh, stock investments, with respect to your uh, romantic relationships, this is by far the most creative window of time for you in 12 years, except for when Jupiter goes to push you also. That's, you know, another one. But in terms of Pushya gives you abundance, but Rohini is the most important nakshatra for creativity. Uh, so be creative with your children. Um, you can help them be more creative, do things differently, uh, but uh, also nourish your children. This is directly telling us that fifth lord in Rohini means you got to nourish your children, your connection, your relationship with your children. You need to nourish that bond uh, by whatever means, could be through food, could be through love, could be through sharing. Um, uh, so that's all Rohini. Uh, same thing with the eighth house matters. So your eighth house is completely activated with uh, eighth Lord sitting in Rohini. That means directly telling you to create something regarding your eighth house. Um, as in, first of all, and that could be connected with your profession. So maybe start some higher studies, you know, learn some esoteric subjects, esoteric wisdom. Uh, you know, hypnotherapy, energy healing, all of that. Uh, and this will be a period of change and transformation. This could bring actually change in your profession. Also change in your children. A big change in your children uh, could be a possibility. But be very ethical in all your dealings. Otherwise, you know, they, they make sure there are no hidden secrets. That is the eighth house, which are, you know, dark secrets or negative things. Uh, just come clean uh, and do not create any new secrets. And so that's, that's the idea. Uh, and then uh, worship the mother earth you know eighth house is all the deep hidden things and the eighth lord is going to rohini which is agriculture and earth and farming so good time to sp spend uh, you know some quality time uh, with the mother earth or doing things with the earth farming agriculture uh, or researching do a lot of research uh, go deep and also uh, potentially good time to think of if you're you know, deciding what career to do, you know, what line of work, 
uh, art, dance, music, food, or research, all of those, like even FBI, you know, research or uh, secret agencies, that, that kind of stuff. Uh, and all of those careers are a good option for you or doing some projects or uh, some volunteer work in those areas will also be good or just as a remedy, you know, any kind of art, dance, music. Uh, be very creative in your profession with your children and in how you discover the secrets of the universe. That's the eighth house. So that's a sign of Leo, Leo rising, Leo lagna, Leo ascendant. As long as you're ethical uh, in your profession, as long as you're ethical dealing with your children uh, in, in your romantic relationships, in your stock investments and in your uh, dealing uh, with the wealth of other people and you know uh, becoming a financial advisor, investment manager, tax consultant, all those are also good careers options for you uh, right now with the eighth lot sitting in the uh, 10th house. Uh, but be ethical and be very, very creative. Uh, creative as in with a good heart, uh, you know, dharmic way, sattvic way. So then you'll have a lot of financial abundance as well. Your career will grow. Your uh, your wisdom will grow. Your seek, you, you will uh, be revealed the secrets of the universe and your connection with your children will grow. Uh, your children there in their life they will grow and their romantic relationships will grow so that's all uh, the for sign of leo uh, if you haven't already watched the intro section very important and also consider uh, becoming a member youtube member and uh, share this video with your friends and like and and, and hit the bell icon uh, to get the notifications next is virgo rising virgo lagna virgo ascendant now for virgo um, you know, uh, watch the intersection first be, be, because it's very important why this is such a big transit uh, happening after 12 years. And this is the mo potent, most potent combination for ethical prosperity, for financial wisdom. Uh, and Virgo is one of the signs, one of the um, four signs which, are, which particularly uh, stand to gain financially. Uh, direct, direct financial abundance will be there for Virgo um, and watch the intersection. Uh, and then also consider uh, becoming a YouTube member uh, where you get exclusive perks, uh, video, uh, weekly videos on transits and also discounts on readings. And then you can ask one question um, per month if you join the Diamond membership. And thank you, a big thank you to members who joined recently. Um, so let's see what's happening with Virgo Ascendant. So as you can see, Jupiter uh, for Virgo rising, Jupiter will be in your ninth house. Uh, that's where all the action is. Uh, Jupiter in the nakshatra of Rohini, uh, transiting through the sign of Taurus. Uh, and Jupiter is your uh, fourth lord and your seventh lord. Okay, so those houses are activated, but ninth house um, is, is uh, getting activated. So ninth house is our uh, higher wisdom. Ninth house is uh, our gurus. Ninth house is actually Bhagyasthan. One of the houses we say it's the house of luck that brings you good luck. Uh, and it's the house of Lakshmi, a Shri. You know, it's one of the three corner houses. And so uh, ninth house Jupiter, we say it's like the blessings of the gurus. Your luck will shine upon you. Uh, Bhagyode. And so this is going to be a fantastic period for both uh, spiritual progress and financial abundance. Uh, it, it there'll, there'll be a balance, uh, but you'll also gain, you know, wisdom from gurus. You may become a guru yourself. Uh, one caution is Jupiter in the ninth house. Be flexible in your belief system. Do not be very, very stubborn because uh, anyway, the ninth house is Taurus, which can give you stubbornness. Uh, for Virgo rising, that could be one of the issues. Their belief system, in their belief system, they could be very stubborn. And now because Jupiter going over here, uh, there is, is even more tendency or potentially uh, you may incline to be very uh, stubborn or rigid or, you know, extreme in your opinions, in your belief system. So that's one big caution. Um, uh, you know, be very inclusive. A great time for you to go on a pilgrimage, go on a journey, spiritual journey. Uh, a, a great time for uh, higher wisdom, join some new courses, you know, higher studies or simply discussion with the gurus. Um, and be very creative. And then also, uh, this will bring, uh, you know, ideas for you to maybe uh, do renovation in your home, or be creative in terms of real estate deals, uh, you know, good time to uh, look in those areas. Uh, and also, 
uh, grow food, literally. I mean, fourth house is your inner happiness, yourself, your place of residence. And fourth lord in Rohini means uh, you can grow food, um, your own food in the backyard, or get into you know agriculture, farming, things like that. Uh, same thing with your seventh house, your relationship. Be creative in your relationship. Uh, be very nurturing and nourishing. Uh, cook food together. That's the perfect remedy. Uh, you know, you and your spouse. Uh, or, uh, you know, uh, also think of uh, any other artistic ways, you know, art and dance and music, uh, which will help with your relationships. Uh, and uh, do that uh, together. And this could also mean uh, doing some projects in those areas with your business partners. So overall, this is a good time for, say, uh, you know, your long distance travels will be fortunate. Uh, good time for you to become a teacher, guru, share your wisdom with the world. That's ninth house. Uh, there'll be lots of beneficial partnerships, you know, seventh house, Lord, uh, we're talking about in the nakshatra of Rohini. So think of Rohini as, you know, good energy, auspicious energy, abundance, creativity. Uh, so apply that to your seventh house, apply that to your fourth house. Uh, and, but one caution, again, you know, you may feel uh, everything is so ideal. So there has to be a balance between idealism and reality. And also, uh, as I said, uh, be flexible in your beliefs, be flexible in your home environment, be flexible in your seventh house matters relations, but be very creative at the same time. You can be very, very creative and bring this creative energy in all these areas of your life. So that's for Virgo rising. And as I mentioned, it's taking place, the action is taking place in your ninth house, which is the house of luck and fortune. So literally Bhagyo uh, And Rohini is that nakshatra that gives birth. It's the fertility, it's the abundance, it's the expansion, it's the creativity of Prajapati. And so all those things. And, and what better planet uh, to, to be in your ninth house than Guru, the Jupiter, uh, the Brihaspati. Uh, so all that abundance, all that expansion, the blessings will be there. Uh, your luck will shine upon you. And your fourth house, the Sukhasthana, your inner happiness will blossom. Your relationships will bl blossom. So this is uh, ethical prosperity in all so many areas of life. Um, and enjoy and uh, be cautious of original indulgence and jealousy. Uh, those are the two things to be careful about. Um, so uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Watch the intro section, very important if you haven't already, uh, and consider becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for your time. Next is the sign of Libra, Libra Lagna, Libra Ascendant, and Libra Rising Sign. So uh, if you haven't already, please watch the intro section. We discussed the mythology. We discussed uh, the real meaning, why I say uh, this is happening after 12 years and ethical prosperity. So uh, let's see uh, for Libra and also uh, consider becoming a YouTube member. You get more exclusive videos and discounts on consultations and other perks. So for Libra, as we can see, Jupiter will be in your eighth house here uh, in the nakshatra of Rohini. And uh, Jupiter is the ruler of uh, third house and your sixth house. So that's uh, the full picture. Now, the most of the action, you know, the, the big uh, activation is happening in the eighth house. Um, and so the third ruler and the sixth ruler is transiting through the eighth house in Nakshatra of Rohini. So eighth house uh, will be activated. That means there's huge potential of creating something. Uh, that may mean, so first of all, this is Taurus sign, right? So um, shared wealth and resources from other people and wealth management um, and uh, res you know money resources from spouse inheritance uh, in laws all of that uh, be creative you know the, you this is a big opportunity also uh, the money re you receive from clients client work all of that is eight thousand uh, so creative ways of uh, you know uh, getting more um, financial wealth uh, from other people uh, you know, genuine, obviously, ethical sources of income. Uh, and then also, secondly, this is prime time for you to go deeper, discover something, uh, you know, secrets of the universe. Very, very powerful activation of eighth house. And, and especially, uh, this is the sign ruled by your Lagna Lord. And so dig deeper, uh, study something esoteric subjects, uh, energy healing or self-healing, 
And then also now one caution is uh, eighth house is also, uh, you know, uh, hidden uh, sexual desires and pleasures, all of that. So some secrets, uh, be ethical in all your uh, endeavors. And then Jupiter is the ruler of sixth house and the ruler of third house. So that means uh, these are all both, these are both houses of courage and enemies and competition, all of that. So the Lord of that is sitting in the eighth house uh, in a very uh, benign and, 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 uh, nice, wonderful, benefic nakshatra. So you may feel like lack of courage in a way, uh, but for liberalizing Rahu is in the sixth, so that will give you courage anyway. Uh, but you will de deal with the situations, everyday uh, obstacles, as well as long-term battles and competitions, that is sixth house, with a very uh, you know, wise manner, like a grown-up person. Uh, and then... Uh, but this is the time to be very creative in your health routine, in your daily routine, in the service that you do for other people, uh, in your work profession, that is sixth house, your nine to five job. Uh, in your communication also, you'll be very gentle. This is a great time to uh, do networking, marketing, sales, uh, and also learn some new skills, that is third house. Um, third house is all our skills, especially uh, with the hands. And Jupiter, the Lord of the third house, is sitting in the most, one of the most creative nakshatras. So there cannot be a better time for you uh, to learn something new um, in, in the next, you know, within the next uh, 12 years. So Jupiter goes over uh, into Rohini every 12 years. Uh, there'll be another opportunity uh, this year uh, because of Jupiter's retrograde motion. It'll come back to Rohini for a few months later this year. Uh, but right now, this is a golden opportunity. Um, same thing, be creative in all of your sixth house related matters uh, that, I, as I mentioned, helping other people, uh, taking care of your health, uh, dealing with the enemies. All of that is governed by uh, the sixth uh, This may also indicate a good, you know, better relationship with your siblings, uh, younger siblings. And, uh, and then uh, be very ethical in all of these areas, in your job. Um, and you'll actually also develop much more harmonious relationships with your co-workers at your job. Uh, uh, but uh, eighth house is change and transformation also. So this period will bring a lot of change, transformation, literally working with the Mother Earth. Uh, that is very much, uh, you know, that'll be great. Uh, going deep, you know, secrets, uh, literally and figuratively. And, uh, you know, any of these art forms, um, mandala coloring books, Shakti coloring books, those will be great uh, medium uh, that is all Rohini uh, to reach the, the hidden secrets of the universe. That's eighth house and Jupiter, the guru, is giving you the wisdom to do that. So, so that's for the sign of Libra. And that's how Jupiter will bring ethical prosperity for you for uh, the eighth house related matters. Definitely, that's where Jupiter is sitting, but also your third house and sixth house are activated Jupiter being the ruler of those houses. Uh, if you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you get the notifications. And also uh, consider joining uh, the YouTube membership and watch the intro section if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Next is the sign of Scorpio, Scorpio rising, Scorpio lagna, Scorpio ascendant. So we're talking about Jupiter's transit in Rohini. Watch the intro section. Uh, very important why I say this is going to be the the period of ethical prosperity after 12 years. Rohini is a very productive, very, uh, you know, creative nakshatra. And um, join the YouTube membership um, and also consider uh, sharing this with your friends if you like the content. So uh, Scorpio rising, let's see what's going on. So for Scorpio, Jupiter is transiting through your seventh house here. And Jupiter is the ruler of your second house and your fifth house. This is a, a fantastic time for you for, um, we'll discuss a lot of things um, and, and for finances, directly for finances as well. Uh, first of all, Jupiter is in your seventh house. Seventh house is relationships. And this is a big transit with respect to relationships because Rohini is all about relationships. See, Rohini, if you uh, listen to the intro section, Rohini is the favorite nakshatra of the moon. So there could be a big theme of jealousy here. This could be jealousy from your perspective or other people may be jealous of you. So be very, very careful in that respect. 
uh, among all the 12 signs, uh, Scorpio will be most uh, under, you know, Scorpio will be impacted the most in terms of relationships and, and jealousy, this feeling. So nothing, you know, major, nothing negative about it. I'm saying it's, it's just this feeling of jealousy. And that could, of course, lead to negative things. So that's number one caution for you. Number two, uh, but there is a huge scope of creativity in your relationships. Uh, and that creativity also uh, in a Jupiterian fashion, meaning very wise, you know, it'll give you, you'll have wisdom to uh, come up with creative ideas uh, for your relationship or partnership, uh, develop your partnership uh, and grow it. Uh, this is the time Jupiter is expansion. So there'll be expansion in your connections, in your partnerships. Um, a very good time to develop big one-on-one -on -one partnerships with uh, for your business that will grow over time. Rohini is all about the growth. It's agriculture. Um, the symbol is the ox pulling a cart. Uh, and so you can plant the seeds for amazing partnerships that will serve you throughout the life. This is the time to do that. Uh, and then uh, the second house, fifth house are both considered uh, money houses. Um, second house is the family wealth, accumulated wealth. So the ruler of these two houses is going through the nakshatra of Rohini, which is all about abundance and expansion and growth and creativity. Uh, so your wealth will increase, your family wealth will increase. Your um, This is a very creative time for you. Your fifth lord, which is fifth house represents creativity, uh, intelligence, creativity. Uh, the lord of that is going through the most, one of the most creative nakshatras. So um, big um, opportunity to be creative in um, all the areas governed by Jupiter in any case, which is, you know, even our children, abundance, wisdom, learning new things, uh, dharma, uh, gurus, studying, all of that, plus uh, connection with your children. So your children, for your kids, this will be a very fantastic period. They may do a lot of creative things, encourage them. Um, you may also, f um, you know, have uh, one important thing is if you're, uh, you know, in that stage of your life, this may be a period when your romantic relationship, which is the fifth house, will turn into a long term like a marriage possible because the fifth lord is coming to the seventh house, which is relationship. And Jupiter is the planet of contracts. Jupiter wants to legalize things. So this is a classic transit for you, for all Scorpio rising people. In general, uh, the Jupiter transit in the seventh house indicates that you'll get married your romantic relationship will turn into a marriage. But uh, this specific transit through Rohini is, uh, you know, potent, is is absolutely fantastic. And th this is the uh, sort of window when that might happen. Uh, the other things, uh, of course, second house, uh, a wonderful time for communication with your spouse or you, you and your spouse or your partner, business partner also, could do a lot of uh, speaking engagements, uh, speaking wisely, dharmic subjects. Um, and those will grow. And then also doing some things with uh, in food industry, with agriculture, food supply, uh, our diet, our food. Um, do some projects with, with your partners, business partners, or with your spouse. Um, that, that's a good opportunity. And those things will grow over time. Now, fifth house is also uh, mantra shastra and all of that. So good time to do chanting and things. Uh, if you are into mantras, chanting with your spouse, with your partner. Um, a wonderful time, even with your family. Um, and fifth house is also sports and stuff. So, so great time to do things, outdoor things with your partner. So that's what's happening with your, um, with the Scorpio Lagna. A uh, lot of opportunities, especially in the areas of relationship, uh, family wealth, growing the, your family wealth and doing things with your children, with your romantic partner. Also good for speculation um, and, you know, taking some calculated risks. Um, and so this is not uh, by any means uh, financial advice, but in general, that's the uh, energy. Uh, there is uh, good opportunities. Um, so watch the intersection also, if you haven't already. Very important discussion uh, there. Uh, so next we'll see uh, the sign of Sagittarius. So we're, we're discussing Jupiter's transit through Rohini. If you haven't already, watch the intersection first. And... Uh, very important to understand why this is going to, there's going to be ethical prosperity after 12 years um, and the remedies and all of that. And, and consider becoming a YouTube member uh, and also please like, share and subscribe um, and share with your friends. 
So uh, Sagittarius rising. So for Sagittarius, uh, Jupiter is transiting through your sixth house. It's in the nakshatra of Rohini, okay? Um, and that's the topic that's what we're discussing. And for Sagittarius, of course, Jupiter is your Lagna Lord and Jupiter is your fourth Lord as well. So this is Sagittarius rising, Sagittarius Lagna, Sagittarius ascendant. Uh, so what that means, first of all, your sixth house is completely activated. Sixth house will have growth, expansion, uh, that means your job, first of all, if it's a nine to five kind of a job, you'll you'll excel. You'll have a lot more progress and growth in your job. Uh, you'll your uh, relationship with your um, coworkers will improve a lot. Uh, you'll be very creative in your work, in your job. Same thing uh, in doing volunteer service. Also, sixth house to the house of service. So you'll discover new ways of helping other people, doing volunteer work. Um, and sixth house is also the house of enemies and obstacles. So you'll deal with the obstacles in a very um, mature fashion, in, like a guru, you know, like a wise person. Um, and, and you'll be very creative in dealing with obstacles, both inner enemies, like inner six weaknesses, kam, krod, lob, mob, mad, matsare, and uh, dealing with the external enemies. Now, this is your Lagna Lord going through this uh, uh, sixth house, uh, through the nakshatra of Rohini. That means a very creative period. Uh, for you to look at your weaknesses, uh, look at your health routine, uh, you know, all of those things. Um, this is golden opportunity uh, to at least plant the seeds uh, to work on those areas. Um, and your whole focus is the sixth house right now because your Lagna Lord is sitting here. So that means uh, you cannot escape, you know, the, the issues or the things represented by the sixth house, as well as the opportunities, great opportunities here. Uh, then fourth lord also is in the sixth house. Fourth house, it's uh, fourth house is our mother. Fourth house is our place of residence. Fourth house is real estate. Fourth house is inner happiness. All of those things. Uh, the lord of that house is in the Rohini nakshatra, a very creative nakshatra, expansive. So possibly you know thinking about real estate expansion in those areas, uh, thinking about maybe renovation in your home, maybe even getting into a bigger home or uh, you, you may also uh, do things with your mother, a uh, good period for your mother or your relationship with your mother and figure out what makes you happy. Do lots of exercise that may make you happy. That's the fourth Lord in the sixth house. Uh, take care of your daily routine. Incorporate a lot of, uh, you know, dharmic spiritual work in your daily routine. Uh, that's how Jupiter, uh, the fourth Lord in your sixth house will help you. Uh, now, also caution, uh, don't be your own enemy. Uh, do not have jealousy about uh, with other people or other people may have jealousy with you. I mean, that's, of course, you cannot do anything about that. But you yourself have absolutely no jealousy from your side. Or, uh, as I said, don't be your own enemy because the Lagna Lord is in the sixth house. And uh, so that that's one caution. Uh, and also, um, do not be totally, you know, overindulgence in some of the sixth house that is... Uh, dealing with the enemies and all, uh, do not get involved in, you know, long arguments and uh, and extended periods of conflicts. So that's that's the caution here. But overall, this will transform. This will really uh, give you ideas. Be very creative. That's Rohini Nakshatra in terms of your fourth house matters and your uh, uh, first house matters and your sixth house. So so for, for Sagittarius, this is really about you, your Lagna. And your fourth house, that's inner happiness. So all of that, those things that make you happy, all the things that represent you uh, are undergoing abundance and expansion. You are undergoing a phase of expansion in your personality, in yourself. And what makes you happy? You'll discover all those things through uh, the sixth house matters. So that's the, the, the basic idea for Sagittarius rising. Next is uh, Capricorn rising. Capricorn lagna, Capricorn ascendant. If you haven't already, please watch the intro section. Very important. Um, you need to understand uh, why we call it ethical prosperity and why after 12 years. And consider becoming a member, um, a YouTube member. You get exclusive videos and also uh, discounted readings. And you can ask one question every month if you get the diamond uh, membership. You can ask one question for free. Um, so Capricorn rising. Um, let's see what's happening. 
for Capricorn rising, this is one of the houses uh, or one of the signs, I should say, that will see direct financial abundance. Uh, what's happening is Jupiter is transiting through your fifth house and Jupiter is the ruler of your third house and your 12th house. And so all the action is taking place in your fifth house. First of all, fifth house is the house of intelligence. So Jupiter there in the nakshatra of Rohini will give you abundant, uh, you know, intelligence. You'll be very, uh, you'll deal with things very intelligently. Second, this is the house of creativity. Uh, you'll have abundant creativity. Rohini, as I mentioned in the intro section also, one of the most creative nakshatras ruled by Prajapati. Uh, the, and, and then now Jupiter is transiting there. So what better combination can you expect? Um, you're, you'll have abundant creativity to not just in, in fifth house matters, in general for your life, uh, in all areas of life. Um, and then also this might be a period when you may literally have a, a give birth to a child. Like you, if you're at, at that age and, and you're trying to have a child, this is the golden opportunity. Um, and then also give birth to other creative projects. Uh, then also good period, uh, good window for romantic relationships. You, you may enter into a new romantic relationship or your current relationship that will grow. Uh, be very creative in all of those areas. Uh, fifth house is also Mantra Shastra, that's chanting. Um, and Jupiter is the planet uh, for mantras and chanting. So if you are inclined towards chanting or mantras, uh, this is absolutely fantastic period throughout this uh, two months and a week, this period, uh, keep playing you know, mantras. Um, and then one caution is do not be jealous. Uh, this is, you know, this is the house of children. Do not be jealous of other people's children in a way. Uh, and do not be jealous of other people's uh, uh, romantic partners. That's one big rec uh, recommendation because Jupiter in Rohini may give you that, um, that feeling. And then uh, stay away from overindulgence uh, in terms of, you know, spending too much money on your uh, romantic partner, on your lover. Uh, that may be a big issue here um, with Jupiter in the fifth house in Rohini. Other than that, uh, a great time to make investments. Uh, that's 12th house. Uh, could be possibly uh, foreign investments or doing business with foreigners. Um, and But you can be very creative in making investments. Um, uh, you know, awaken your higher intelligence. That's the meaning of 12th Lord sitting in the fifth house of the most creative nakshatra, Rohini. Uh, so uh, awaken the higher intelligence, be creative and also reach out to other planes of existence. Uh, third house uh, means, uh, see, third house is your skills. So, and, and again, Jupiter in the most creative nakshatra. So be very creative in learning new skills or developing your existing skills. Good time to improve your relationship with your younger siblings. Good time to do communication, networking, marketing, sales, um, all of that. Uh, you, you'll see, you'll you'll come across as very nurturing and caring person uh, in all your communications. So they will flourish. They'll give you results over time. Uh, that's the third house. Third house is also our uh, short distance travels. So this is a fantastic period. Uh, all your short distance travels, let's say within the city, will be very fruitful, very rewarding, very successful. Um, uh, and and then also twelfth uh, house is uh, higher spiritual wisdom. Uh, so, and Jupiter in Rohini will give you ample opportunities to go deep, use your subconscious mind, uh, awaken your intuition. Um, and so those uh, things are uh, are uh, indicated by this transit. So that's the overall analysis for Capricorn. And uh, now, you know, as we mentioned, one of the things, be careful over indul indulgence or expenditures or, or ex uh, losses. Uh, because of your uh, romantic partner or uh, because of your children. So do not overspend, uh, you know, things on, on children or uh, your romantic uh, relationships. That's one caution because Jupiter is the 12th Lord. Um, and Rohini may have that tendency uh, to show off. And just to show off, you may end up overspending or overindulgence. But otherwise, a fantastic period. The biggest thing that I see for Capricorn is creativity and learning the skills, uh, bring out the hidden talents also, that is 12th house. That's specifically 12th Lord sitting in the fifth house of creativity in Rohini. You, in this period, you'll bring out a lot of your hidden talents. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. 
and um, join the YouTube membership, hit the bell icon to get the notifications. Next, we'll talk about Aquarius rising, Aquarius Lagna, Aquarius um, Ascendant. Okay, So if you haven't already, please watch the intro section. Why we say this is a fantastic period, a very unique opportunity where you'll see ethical prosperity and what we mean by ethical prosperity and why this is a window after 12 years. Um, and so also uh, consider joining the YouTube membership and also, uh, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Now, this is, uh, let's see what's happening. So uh, for uh, Aquarius rising, uh, we have Jupiter transiting through your fourth house in the nakshatra of Rohini. Uh, and Jupiter is your second lord and your 11th lord. Now, uh, to me, Aquarius, uh, also you can say Taurus in a way, but Aquarius is... Uh, going to benefit from this transit the most out of all the 12 signs. This is in terms of financial uh, abundance, financial expansion, financial pros prosperity, direct financial prosperity. Why? Because Jupiter going through the nakshatra of Rohini, uh, which indicates financial prosperity. But for Aquarius rising, Jupiter is the planet of money. Jupiter is this one planet that's ruling the 11th house and second house. 11th house is our financial gains uh, and our income. Second house is our accumulated resources, family wealth. So those two are the primary houses for money, for wealth. And both of that, lord of those two houses, is sitting uh, in the nakshatra of Rohini, which means abundance and expansion and growth and creativity. Um, and so fantastic window, two, three months of window where you can set some projects in motion. You might literally get a lot of financial wealth uh, in, in the door. Uh, but you can you know, think of doing some projects, doing some things to expand your finances. That should be your number one thing that you can work on to set things in motion. Uh, the, the second thing is, of course, this whole action is taking place in your fourth house. Uh, this is a creative period for you to discover what makes you happy. Go within, sit in your home. That's the fourth house. Uh, and uh, make your home as a retreat center, as a uh, you know, ashram, and and just contemplate. You'll get the answers. Uh, this will bring expansion to your heart. Fourth house is our heart, uh, literally. And also good for your mother, good for your relationship with your mother, good for looking into real estate investments, good for uh, maybe buying a new vehicle, buying a new home, expansion of your current home, renovation. All of that is possible during this phase. Uh, and then also bring your friends home. This is directly indicated by 11th Lord, uh, coming to the fourth house. That means your friends are coming to your house and feed them nice food. Uh, that is Rohini um, and, and have spiritual discussions. So ideally, let's say you do Vipassana. Let's say you do some form of uh, lineage, you know, you know, meditation, Kriya Yoga or anything. You can organize like mini retreats in your home, invite all of your friends and your family, second house. Uh, this is by far, you know, the Aquarius will benefit the most out of all the 12 signs, both uh, as we discussed financially, but also spiritually, because Jupiter in the fourth house will make you very, will make your heart, you know, expand, happy, joyful, and that too, including or in involving your family as well as friends. So family, friends, and food, that is Rohini, uh, and inner peace, and your heart, uh, and your wisdom. So a uh, perfect balance of spiritual progress, as well as uh, enjoyment, as well as financial abundance. So all of that is indicated uh, by this transit. Um, so let me... So for Aquarius rising, Aquarius, like now this may seem like a short uh, description or um, we probably didn't spend as much time as other uh, rising signs, but for you, uh, this is absolutely fantastic period for both spiritual progress and material abundance, financial abundance, literally your financial income, uh, that's the 11th house, and your family wealth, that's the second house, will expand, will grow. Be very, very creative. Think of all the time, think of ideas, uh, you know, creative ideas, how you can expand your family wealth, your income, and also your inner happiness, your home environment, uh, connection with your mother. All of that is indicated. Now, caution is 11th house is also our desires. So uh, do not have excessive desires. That's one caution. Overindulgence is possible here. Uh, otherwise, fantastic period. Uh, and watch the intro section first if you haven't already. Um, and join the YouTube membership. 
uh, and also uh, share the video with your friends. Thank you so much for your time. Next is Pisces rising, uh, Pisces Lagna, Pisces ascendant. Uh, for Pisces, we're discussing Jupiter in Rohini. Watch the intro section first. Why we say this is ethical, this is going to bring ethical prosperity. And after 12 years, this is a very unique transit. Um, and uh, so for Pisces, let's see what's going on. So for Pisces rising, Pisces Lagna, Pisces ascendant, uh, Jupiter is going through your third house in the nakshatra of Rohini. Okay. And uh, and then Jupiter is the ruler, of course, the Lagna Lord, and Jupiter is your 10th Lord. So th the whole action is taking place in your third house. So the biggest blessing, the biggest advice or biggest, um, you know, uh, thing that's going to happen with Pisces is you will learn uh, uh, some new skills. Absolutely very creative period for you to learn some new skills, that third house, or if you already, you know, have some skills, uh, you'll uh, go deeper. Uh, and then secondly, your communication will be very, very effective. Um, so reach out to people, uh, do a lot of networking, marketing, sales, and short distance travels uh, for your work, for your profession. That's all third house. Uh, and then third house is also younger siblings. Your, your connection with younger siblings will improve they may help you with your career, uh, being very creative. Uh, literally, you could, um, you know, have career in, or or think of some projects related to the food industry, related to art and dance and music. So you can learn skills in those areas, of course, but also maybe do some projects, some work in those areas as your career. Uh, also, your Lagna Lord is uh, involved. So Lagna Lord is going through the most creative nakshatra. That means gives you a lot of opportunity to rediscover yourself, uh, self-development, personality development, uh, figure out who you are, what makes you happy, what's the purpose of your existence, all of that. Uh, and also change, uh, you know, good for your health also in general. Uh, be courageous in having a, a new health routine or taking care of your uh, self, of your body, especially. Lagna represents your physical body. And the way you think, your logical mind is lagna. Uh, so, so you'll have a lot of creativity at your disposal. And of course, 10th house, uh, that's your career. You'll have more recognition at your career. You'll be very creative. Uh, be creative in your profession, in your business, in your work. Uh, and also, uh, people will recognize you. Uh, you can think of big projects, you know, big endeavors in your work, in your profession. Uh, one caution, you know, not to uh, make sure you're not jealous of other people, especially uh, in terms of work. You're not jealous uh, with your younger siblings. So those are some of the things. Uh, but otherwise, big opportunity to be very creative and transform and learn some new skills. Uh, so your Lagna Lord is going through the most creative nakshatra of all the 27 nakshatras. And this will give you growth and abundance in a lot of areas of life. So that was the analysis for all the 12 signs, 12 lagnas, 12 rising signs. If you like the content, please share with your friends and hit the bell icon so you get notifications immediately as soon as the videos are released. And consider joining uh, the YouTube membership. Uh, we have three tiers. And uh, in the diamond, the highest tier, you can uh, ask one question uh, a month for free uh, based on your chart. And also you get exclusive weekly videos and discounts on consultations and readings. Uh, and thanks for your support. Thanks for your time. Um, and also watch other videos because all transits are important. You know, this is especially for Venus uh, or Jupiter in Rohini. Then what's happening with Venus and Jupiter conjunction? You know, that's, uh, that's going to be until 12th of June. And this transit starts 13th of June. So everything is important. Uh, even if they're taking place at the same time, all the planets rule different houses. So every transit affects different area of our life. So you have to combine all of those transits. Okay. Uh, okay. And thanks for your support and thanks for watching. Um, and uh, let me know in your comments uh, how you know, you're planning to make use of this massive opportunity for ethical prosperity. Thank you so much. Namaste.